If you have an older vehicle that you've added rear disc brakes to, you might notice that the rear brakes are dragging slightly. That's probably due to a residual valve in the master cylinder. In today's video, we're going to tear into that and uh, show you what that looks like and how to take care of it and uh, get those brakes spinning freely. Let's do it. Okay, so find the port that goes uh, to your rear line. That would be this front one. And we're going to remove uh, the little line here and this whole fitting and the residual valve should be inside this little chamber. Once you remove this you are going to have fluid coming out of it, have a bucket nearby and anytime I'm dealing with uh, brake fluid I like to wear gloves because this stuff is nasty on your skin. It's going to be hard for you guys to see this. I have the fitting off and inside there is the tapered seat for the fitting but it's also a little brass uh, cone that's behind that would be the residual valve so we just have to pull that out and see what's back in there i can't take credit for this idea because i saw it on youtube from someone else doing it but you thread a drywall screw in there and then get a pair of side cutters and use that to pry that valve out so hopefully it works so i'm gonna put the camera down pop that out and then we'll show you what it looks like all right it came out just like it did in the movies so you can see the little brass seat and we should be able to reuse this because that hole really isn't in the ceiling area and i can indeed see a residual valve in there it's a little rubber black piece and this is not going to be the best <laughs> video quality but i'll do my best huh that came out super easy there it is I'm looking at the design of this and the design of this and I think there's some redundancy going on here that's causing some problems. I had trouble getting this fitting to seal. The rear one sealed up and this one didn't and I think it's because this seat is designed for this fitting to go in and hit. But because I'm using these 90 degree jobbies I think it's bottoming out against that seat and not clamping on because the banjo washers you shouldn't need the banjo washers and this tapered seat so I'm going to put it together without that um, brass seat and see if it seals up because now that the valves not in there we don't need that to hold it in there so I don't know if that makes sense or not. But I'm going to try that and see if it uh, seals up. Because I was looking, these banjo washers don't even look like they've ever been um, compressed. And I had trouble getting this to seal up. So I'm going to try that and put this back together and see how it goes. Back together, a um, little trick that I use anytime I'm working on brake systems. Try to get the air out right here before you push it all the way back. So I will bleed the brakes at the caliper just to check, but I left this fitting loose. And since I'm right here, I just reached up, pulled the brake lever with this loose, let the air bubbles come out, tightened it, and then let off the brake arm. And that pushed out the air right here. There, there might still be a little bit of air here, but uh, by doing that, I don't have, I won't have as much bleeding to do. So it's all together now. I'm gonna bleed it at the calipers just to make sure and put some pressure on it and see if these fittings leak. But this will give you a visual on the pieces we removed. So this is my little sheetrock screw. This is the brass seat and this is the residual valve. So it's just a little squishy rubber check valve with a little spring. So um, it just prevents, it has to overcome this spring to let pressure out of the line. So very simple but causes lots of trouble. Just finished up a little test drive and it's perfect now. The brakes don't stick anymore and there's no leaks. So um, if you do this swap and you have four wheel disc, make sure you take that valve out. So sorry I didn't include that on the first video, but I'm new to this style master cylinder and uh, running that with the four wheel disc. So that's it. Thanks for watching and catch you later.